What is going on everybody? If you've been keeping up to date with the MUT info, you know that there's a new AP update coming soon. Um, by the time you're watching this, it's already out. And in this video, I'm gonna be collabing with MUT GG, uh, one of the best sites for MUT. A uh, new site, obviously, I love what they're doing. And we're gonna be collabing and you know, I'm gonna be talking about the newest AP updates, what abilities are hot, what abilities are not what abilities you should have out there on the newest AP update build. So I'm going to have this video kind of like two parts. Um, obviously still one video throughout the whole way, but the time I'm recording this, the AP update is not live yet. We do have like the notes on, you know, who's going to be uh, upgraded, or I guess you could say what abilities uh, went up, what abilities went down. I do have that info. I'll be kind of just reading you off all that info. And then tomorrow when the AP update is live, I will be, um, you know, kind of like making a rough model of my team and showing you guys on the game um, all the new uh, abilities and all that type of stuff and what kind of like a rough draft of your abilities could look like on the offensive and defensive side of the ball. So you see right here, if you do want the tweet, um, obviously all the notes and all that stuff, you'll be able to see it. But here is the actual tweet. I'm going to click that and read off this info for you guys. So it's scheduled for Wednesday. Today is Tuesday, and I assume it'll be live earlier in the morning. The main thing you see is the AP update uh, for defense and offense goes up from 12 to 14. So you're going to have two extra ability points. Um, by the end of this, you'll know the math on like, okay, how much extra do I actually have? Because obviously some things went up, some things went down. And then also tomorrow, I'll be giving you my two cents on which ones are the best and, you know, which ones you should have out there. And the big thing, they're going to start it off with a bang. Add in pass lead elite to improviser and scrambler QBs. So improviser is just cool, but scrambler QBs. I'm not too sure if they had this before, but now they do unlock it at 93 overalls. And a lot of people are getting like speculation or like hype that, okay, new, new VIX coming out for this reason. Um, that would be some crazy time, and I could see it happening. And it's only 3 AP, man. So obviously uh, pass lead elite is not gunslinger, but I would say it's in that second tier. Um, it's definitely a, a must if you're going to pass the ball. If you don't either use set feet lead, gunslinger, or pass lead elite, you will uh, see some trouble passing the ball with, you know, those lofted passes. So I believe you're not are I believe you're not going to be able to get, you know, uh, escape artist and pass lead elite into like a 96 overall. Once more, that's something for tomorrow to look for. But yeah, that's a big thing that people are already uh, talking about. Human joystick to improviser QB is not really a big thing. Uh, tier 3, 96 overall with 94 agility. Um, once more, maybe, you know, RPO cheesers will use that. But uh, for the most part, that's really nothing too major. Lower overall for unlock for human joystick. Now unlocks at 95 overall. 93 agility on scrambler QBs. Lower overall for spin cycle and jukebox on improviser QB. So you see in the beginning a lot of QB stuff. Um, that's a 92 overall with 90 juke move and spin move. And here's a, one of the big ones already. Inside dead eye, which I would describe as a definitely a tier one ability, maybe a tier two ability. It's not a necessity, but if you love to throw the ball on the run, this is the best ability in the game. And a lot of you guys may have not known, but inside dead eye is a glitch in the game where, you know, if you're on the run, uh, you could really make any pass in the game. Cross body, across the field, 50, 60 yards down the field. Um, it was 100% the best throw in the run ability. 5 AP for field general and strong arc QBs, that's a bit too much in my opinion. I could have seen, I could see, you know, maybe a 2 to 3 AP for uh, inside data. It was extremely overpowered. But to set it at five, it's pretty much not going to be usable now, in my opinion. For halfback, uh, grab and go for elusive and ru uh, receiving running backs. 90 overall for receiving backs. 90 overall and 90 agility for elusive backs. Tank. So, you know, if there's like a new Derrick Henry or um, I'm trying to think like a uh, Michael Turner that comes out eventually. Tank is going to be something that you see a lot of people using. Uh, unlocks at 93 overall and 93 trucking. I'm kind of afraid for this. For all those demons that love to use Derrick Henry, Air Truck, this is going to be crazy. Lower human joystick for all running backs. Unlocks elusive and receiving backs at 95 and 93 agility. Power backs for 96 overall and 94 agility. So, you know, even if you have a power back, you'll still be able to get joystick. And lowered AP from 2 to 1 on running back apprentice for all running backs. So that's a nice one for you guys who have like theme teams where you, you know, you don't want to have the new Reggie Bush or the new Staley, excuse me, not the new Reggie Bush, but like the newer receiving backs, like let's just say like a Ricky Williams or Ronnie Brown, you're going to be able to have running back apprentice on them. That's a nice dub. This one was kind of controversial. 
Um, short and elite and mid and elite are now two AP across the board for wide receivers and tight ends. So I feel like if you're a route runner, you should get this for one and this for one. And it's pretty crazy. A new TJ Husman Zada came out, which is um, route tech is three. So in, um, you know, uh, replacing route tech for three, I was using short and elite and mid and elite, which was two AP altogether. Now, if you combine those two, or it's going to be four AP altogether. Um, not really a big thing, but it, I definitely won't be using short end nor mid end anymore. And this is by far the biggest one that a people have been talking about. Post ups, three AP for all positions. That's kind of mind boggling, man. I was, I could see it being two AP. Sure, post up is really, really effective, man. Um, honestly, it's ability that I should have been using for entirety of the year. Um, if people are sending three man, even four man rushes, it's going to be very hard to get sheds if you have post ups. Now there's three AP for all positions, which is going to make defense a little bit easier. You're going to see a lot of more four and three man rushes, uh, more shed city going on. Um, and, and it's pretty crazy because there's like people have been running a lot more shed defenses out there. So, you know, with the lack of post ups, I mean, I'm sure people will still maybe slap on two, which is six AP, almost half of your AP. That's pretty crazy to think about. For me personally, you know, if I have three AP spared, I might throw it on. But three AP is a lot. That's, you know, um, that's conductor times three. That's a lot of things you could get with three AP. You know, that's route tech on a slot receiver. I'm trying to think of everything that is, you know, that's the slot apprentice, the outside apprentice, all in one. Um, you could get a lot with three AP post up being three AP is in my opinion, an L, but you know, it does balance the game out a little bit more. Um, I definitely will not be using this more than likely Honor honorary lineman blocking tight end two AP. No one's going to really use that. In my opinion, um, this is kind of interesting. Lurker is now unlocked for 90 overall field general and pass coverage linebackers and 91 overall run stoppers. Lurker's really ability we haven't seen out there, but if you love to run like those three through five wides with those linebackers out there, this is definitely the defense or the ability you should use. I would kind of rank this as a, you know, like a middle tier, maybe less than that, because I really haven't seen how it's played. Edge threat lower to two AP for speed rusher, power rusher, DN, and outside linebacker. Double or nothing lower to three AP. So we might see some D-line abilities out there. Uh, edge threat really isn't the greatest this year. I would consider this a middle tier ability. Double or nothing, at least from last year, was up there in that, you know, second tier um, maybe even first tier, but we'll just have to see how they play out, man. Definitely going to see a lot more D-line abilities out there. And last but not least, inside stuff, now 1 AP for run stoppers, which is um, if you're struggling with the run, go slap on an inside stuff. Definitely a middle to higher tier ability. So, um, you know, this post up was the biggest change. Um, pass lead elite and then inside dead eye were the big changes. When the AP update is live, I'll be showing you guys like a rough model of my team. Stick around for that. Good morning, guys. This is, I guess you could call it part two to the video, even though this is going to be stringed up all together in one. I'm going to show you guys the team before with the abilities that I had um, and see, like, compare where we are at with the uh, current AP update. And then maybe I'm going to make some rough models. Maybe some of you guys are going to like the ideas of what I have and boom, 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 steal them. And I wouldn't even say steal them, but, you know, use them as your own. Because I know it could be tricky. Oh, I have one AP. I don't know what to use it on and all that type of stuff. So, you know, sit back, just uh, look at kind of like what kind of lineups I make with the abilities. And we're just going to talk about the changes. So before, obviously, it was 12 out of 12 and nothing changed. Absolutely nothing changed. Um, it seems like with my old lineup, which is pretty crazy. Um, obviously, two things did change. And this it was this uh, TJ Husman Zada now is 2 AP for short and elite and 2 AP for mid and elite. So um, I'm not going to lie, like I'm as a Dan Marino user at the time being, I could always go to Josh Allen and that might be something I want to try. Um, I feel very comfortable right now. Nothing changed on the offensive side of ball. Um, I'm going to have more AP on defense now. You see right here, I have 10 out of 14. Um, you know, I have four extra AP to use it on. But if you are wondering what abilities I have been using, it's a conductor, pass lead elite, and hot route master. So I decided to go with the one up on the pass lead elite for three AP instead of set feet lead. I feel like uh, those pass lead elite and set feet lead are both gold tier abilities. Gunslinger obviously being an elite tier, but um, I feel like with set feet lead, your uh, pass is sometimes loft in the air, or you know sometimes it doesn't work too well, and that's why I went with pass lead elite. But route tech didn't change. 
which is kind of surprising. A lot of people use Route Tech. Same with Rise and Route Tech. And then, like I said, 2AP now for shorten and mid and elite on all archetypes, on all receivers, tight ends, all that good stuff. Um, and there was a change. They did kind of like a, you know, a last second uh, update, I guess you could say. And it's going to hurt some people. Guys, I was told that Slot Apprentice was 2AP. But with Jerry Rice, he's still 1AP. I'm not too sure what the verdict is on that. But you see right there, I have a 1AP Jerry Rice Slot Apprentice uh, receiver. And then we're going to obviously check Ryzen as well. They are both route runners. And Slot Apprentice is obviously the cream of the crop. That's an elite tier ability. If you don't have it on, I'd suggest you slap it on. And yeah. It's uh, 1 AP now on Ryzen as well. Not now, but it's always been. For some reason, they said they changed it. I'm not seeing the changes, but you never know. It may come in play later on. And uh, they also came to agreement that now posts up instead of 3 AP will now be 2 AP, which is very much more viable. I could see people rocking, you know, two of them. One at left guard, one at right guard. Um, you know, for me, I'm still going to have to figure out what I want to do with this 4 AP. I might as well, you know, at this point, slap on route tech and call it a day or even, you know, just one of the things short and elite and then have two extra spare AP. And now there is a chance uh, we're going to get in defense here in a second, but there is that chance that people are going to start using edge protectors. Um, and I'll, we'll go over that in a second. If you watch the first half of the video, you know why it's because edge threats are now two AP, which is going to bring out a lot of like nickel over G shed defenses. Um, you're going to start seeing a lot more D-line cams out there. As you see right here, Harold Landry, I don't have anything on him at the moment. And he is going to get, let's find it. He is now going to get edge threat for 2 AP. Um, in the beginning of the year, it really wasn't that good. But people are finding ways to manipulate it. I would highly say that this is a, a gold tier ability. Maybe even elite tier if you know there's some type of new meta defense that comes out here soon. So I have Harold Landry and Montez Sweat now. Um, you know, I run three, two, four, five odd. I run one, four, six. I don't know how much these guys are going to come into play on that side of the, um, you know, those type of defenses. I'm probably going to have to invest in like Leroy Salmon um, and try like double or nothing maybe for two. I believe it's two now AP. I'm going to try that. Uh, El Toros didn't go down. They are still at three. And something you guys may be wondering, um, no, the mid zones did not go down. As you see right here, I'll show my abilities that I have at this time. I have mid zone KO for one AP on zone archetypes, uh, Sean Taylor and Mike Edwards. Um, at this point, man, I definitely like mid zone KO mixed with Acrobat. They play, you know, not like everything, but they do play things better than those who don't have mid zone. And at this point, honestly, I'm waiting for, you know, Myself to uh, have, you know, some more mid zone KO cornerbacks, uh, safeties, whatever it may be, because I feel like I'll, at the time of the moment, you know, I don't have them at any cornerback position. I only just have them at my safety spots. And if you guys are wondering, oh, I, I was using, um, I was using something like roaming, De uh, excuse me, inside dead eye, which we're gonna try to find right here, five AP. So they did carry out on their actions on that. Um, what should I use now? The move probably is going to have to be if he gets it, and I don't see him getting it. It was going to be roaming Deadeye. Um, I'm going to still look just in case I went over it. But uh, I could 100% see it being roaming Deadeye. As you know, you could still throw in the run. You just had to let go of RT, and it's not going to be for that many yards in comparison to what you had before. Um, I don't even think he's going to be able to get it. And unless I went over it, guys, I don't think he's going to get any type of, uh, you know, dead eye besides inside dead eye. So that definitely hurts him a little bit. But, um, you know, let's be honest. Dan Marino isn't the type to throw in the run already as it is. Um, and Hot Route Master, him having that being an elite tier ability, him having that like as in the only player to have in the game, and that might be like that for a while. Uh, I still feel like he's the best quarterback in the game. Um, if I do use Josh Allen and he somehow changes my mind, then, you know, I'll try to make another lineup or something like that. But for now, man, we are going to try to slap on like two edge threats and see how they play. 
and you know I'll come back to you with my word but you know here's one of them Harold Landry and if this goes wrong then I will definitely slap on you know like double or nothing and that's what I may try as well um, like double or nothing at DT one of them they might go off you never know and then what I think I'm gonna do is invest into two edge protectors because like I said the D line abilities are about to be super overpowered not overpowered but they're gonna be super overused I wish I had enough coins to buy Josh Allen for you guys and you know and show you guys a rough model of you know how it would look like with Josh Allen on offense but um you know you're just gonna have to put that into you know your own hands and see I know his gunslinger I believe is two or three AP no more inside dead eye he will get roaming dead eye I guarantee that um, but besides that man nothing really changed besides the post up being two AP and they did say once again they did say slot apprentice was going to be two AP now but we've seen it firsthand right here that it is still one AP on route runner archetypes see right here boom outside apprentice is one and so is slot apprentice but those were my abilities uh the new updated abilities as well i'm gonna be in the lab heavy there's an upcoming tournament appreciate you guys watching hopefully you guys find the best ability combo or found some help from my videos